my five least wearable items that I had to uh, give away and I had to get rid of. So first one is crop tops. I know that they come and go in fashion trends and this summer they were quite popular. You could see it in many mass markets, uh, represented in different colors, different fabrics. But for me, crop top just didn't work. And not only because now I have a baby bump, but when even my bump was, <laughs> I didn't have a bump and I actually had a quite flat abs, uh, even then my um, crop top just didn't work for me because I felt like I was trying to be back to 20s again. And if you are 30 or approaching 30 or over 30, I think it's already um, a little bit too much. It looks like you're wearing something from your small sister so yes this item I would rather give away give away to my smaller sister if I had one and even if you buy the most expensive crop top and it's like a quite pricey over 100 euro and so it still looks to me too much top shoppy you know it still looks like you bought it for tenner in mass market so that's why I got rid of the crop tops and instead what I offer is to wear a spaghetti stripes um, top which can be in different fabrics as well from silky uh, satin to suede uh, to even leather of um, or artificial leather ones that would serve you longer that would always look classy and you can wear all year round and because I live in Ireland the season is very short so uh, with the spaghetti strap tops you can wear them all year round with the jacket underneath or then in summer you can just wear it without anything so they are super universal they're super functional and go with anything the number two of my least favorite items that served me uh, the, the shortest period of time that I had to get rid of is the um, pencil tight dress. And again, I know that pencil dress is um, in trend at the moment and uh, it's been in fashion forever. Personally, I think that if it's too tight and if you have tight on the top and tighten the bottom you just you just tie yourself in basically this dress that you can't really move and you look just too uh, overdressed if you go to the office or if you go to work especially with, then with, when you wear high heels and second thing about this pencil tie dress is that even the most um, skinny uh, girl that you could see on the picture here can look like she has a bit of weight on, on, on the belly area. The, any, any little defect that your body might have, it will just show, it will just emphasize with this overly tight dress. And thanks God, now we have so much variety of different dresses that are more loose, that look more, much more relaxed. It doesn't have to be sporty, but it can be just a simply classy, but more relaxed, more uh, dress that has some air that you can breathe and it's not so overly tight. So yeah, if you want to look, um, if you want to create more flattering look, the less tight you go, the better. It's actually the paradox because we think the smaller dress you are trying to fit yourself in, the, the smaller you will look, but it's actually creating the opposite effect. And if you don't want to look like Kim Kardashian, you're better off to, to go with a dress that is a bit more loose. So no super tight, overly tight pencil dresses. Now, I want to tell again, girls, that um, all these examples that I have about the clothes that didn't work for me, it's purely based on my experience, my body type, and uh, anything that has to do with my own taste. So again, you can use uh, those questions that I used and ask yourself three questions every time you assess and evaluate your uh, clothes. So first one is how often you wear it, second one is why you love this item or why you don't like it, and third one is where you wear it to. And if three questions are positive to you, so the answers are yes, I need it, I wear it every day to work, 
I will keep it because it serves me for that and that. Then of course keep it and use it as long as you can. Okay, so third one that didn't work for me is the uh, um, cowl neck sweater or cowl neck sweaters and cowl neck dresses that are also called draped. Dresses for those of you who um, don't know how it looks like I have a picture here so you can see it in different fabrics There were many of them in knitted versions for example in shops like TJ Maxx, TK Maxx and uh, The fabric would seem to be high quality, but at the same time this draped piece this cowl neck that just went down all the way here um, I felt like it added that extra volume so if you have uh, quite large shoulders and uh, quite wide chest, if you add that cowl neck volume here, it will create even bigger uh, impressions, so bigger appearance. And at the same time as well with the breasts, so it still adds this volume artificially and it just, it just doesn't look right. So I decided to get rid of these items and not buy such items anymore, regardless if they are in the trend in fashion, if they are back or not. Okay, the last two out of my top least five uh, are the ones that I wouldn't go too much into details. They are very, very simple rules. So first one is the simply the colors that didn't match my skin type and they didn't work for me. So for example, I know that a blue color, that light blue color is just not my color. And once I was a bridesmaid at the wedding and I was invited and I had to be in the blue color because all the other bridesmaids were wearing that type of color. And I felt awful. I got rid of this dress <laughs> straight away because it was just, I felt like not in my shoes. And yes, if you know which color palette works for you, just try to stick to that. And uh, you can experiment, of course, but at least try to stick to um, the, the skin type. So whether it's warm uh, colors or cold colors, or whether you can mix your warm and cold colors, so you know that here next to the face line, you're wearing the color that, that suits you the most. Last one is the flashy and marky pieces that just I, I just simply got bored of. So if you buy something that is super trendy and is you know full of uh, sparkles and, 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 and it's flashy and it's it's very in your face I don't know red leather for example if you buy this look then you wear it once and then everybody remembers you in this so it's very difficult to answer again question number one about how often you wear it so probably you will not wear it so often and probably you will just be bored of it by yourself because it's difficult to combine with different uh, other items, it's difficult to match and so on. So try to think of these standalone pieces that are not matchable, that are not um, easy to combine and not easy to blend, how often you will wear it and how often you will enjoy it and will it really serve you and not go out of fashion, not go out of trend like tomorrow. Because this is something, if, if you are paying attention, this is something that we see on the, on the windows of the shops very often, right? That there is some amazing piece that is super bright and you're like, oh, I want that look. But then the next day or the next week, the, the window shop is just changed completely and that one is already outdated and you feel like you're wearing something that is outdated. So yeah, those are my tips based on my experience, based on my mistakes that I did. So try to see what works for you. Maybe you can pick up something from what didn't work for me and you can relate. But other than that, just, just try it. Just, just try to assess every single thing that you have. Okay, and good luck with that. So what will you do with those clothes that ended up in a not loved, not used pile? Uh, you probably want to get rid of them, but all I'm asking from you is to make sure that you don't, uh, that they don't end up in the landfill. Uh, just to give you a bit of statistics, in UK every year, 300,000 
of clothes end up in the landfill which is five percent of total carbon footprint of this country which is really scary and you don't want to contribute to that huge problem that we have now with the environment so i wanted to share a few ways on how you can recycle reuse your clothes um, so first one of course is find a charity shop find a place where you can donate your clothes which is probably very easy because it's almost in every city in every small town you have your local oxfam or your local charity shop that is um, that needs those type of things uh, the second one is the consignment shop so if you have something that you know is really valuable and it's a, it's a good brand it's a good quality good condition you can bring it to consignment shop and you actually get some cash back for that so it's also handy and uh, it's I think it's a good solution then third one uh, if this is let's say your t-shirt that you're no longer wearing uh, and the quality is not there anymore this is um, a t-shirt with stains this is something that uh, torn that probably charity shops wouldn't benefit so much and you couldn't sell it on consignment then you can use the local recycle centers and just recycle your clothes so we are very lucky here in Dublin because we have quite a few recycle centers around the town and I have have one in uh, my office so it's very handy and I can just throw the things there I know that this will be recycled um, at some point so of course if it's uh, plastic if you have like a um, uh, rain jacket made of plastic probably it's better just to put in the plastic recycle bin but if it's a normal cotton uh, polyester just bring it to the recycle center uh, and lastly, of course, you can throw a swap party with your friends and it, it's actually fun and you can enjoy the process and uh, uh, have something to, to share with others. If you like this clothes but you know you won't wear it again, maybe your friend can benefit from it. So definitely swap uh, party, swap shop is something to consider. And I personally give a lot of clothes away uh, to my friends or to my family. I have the same size with my mom so my mom reuses a lot of these clothes uh, before I think about donating or before I think about recycling so for me recycling is the last resort but first I try to think for whom this clothes might still serve and for whom it can be still beneficial and I love when my clothes have this second life and they they go on especially if the quality is okay Okay, so thank you very much for watching and you have a, a bit of homework to do now to look at your wardrobe and uh, do this exercise that I was talking about, asking yourself a question and assessing your wardrobe. But in the next video, I'm going to show what was my result. So which actual clothes ended up uh, staying in my wardrobe and we're going to look at them and I'm going to show you my basic wardrobe that I have now or now as the outcome. Okay, thanks again for watching and video number three of Sustainable Wardrobe is just coming next. <laughs>